Okay, we ready? Well, you don't have to do anything. Sure. Mm -hmm. Except for him. I mean, they can step in. They can go back there and do any of it. Good. Cat, that's good. <laughs> me, do whatever. Amazing. Has to be better. Are you filming her, please? And uh, saying that because so, this is the you know, just, this is the good you know, stuff. Don't have a yeah. Downtime. Right. Something happens. Right. Well, and you know, sometimes you never know in that labor force. If they're going to be there yeah. the next day well, or, or something, you know. If somebody's sick and out, mm -hmm. there's some, you know, these but guys can do it. They, they already know if all they that. need to step in. So you can go back there and just go to town. They really do. Cut the steaks, whatever you need. I used to, I cut, I, I, I can't remember, I don't know who it was. <laughs> Any hills that taught me before, but it was fun. Go ahead, I'm ready. Uh, I would like to get all this on. I was going to say, going. please. Okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I did get it. Thank so, you. But I need everybody to speak up. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. We're ready. We're ready. In three. Two. Welcome back once again, Real People, Real Life, Wichita, Kansas, America. Wow. Okay, I was learning a few little uh, inside scoops, and this is just awesome. Okay, go ahead. You got to tell me what's up. As a chef, yes. why did I like this place? Yes. They're local. Uh -huh. I am lately all about local. I'm done with chains. I'm tired of big amounts. Little, and not a little. My restaurant was not little. And smaller businesses have the best stuff. Why? Because they buy local. Mm -hmm. So we are local, that's first. Uh -huh. So it is gonna be fresh. Uh -huh. We process our, our meats in-house, so right. you can get it fresh or frozen. Some people just want it frozen. You know right. why? Because it has to sit there, right. and it, it gives you time to sell your product and turn it around. Right. But some people want it fresh, we got it. Right. Okay, we deliver every day. Unbelievable. We do not have, as a restaurant, a lot of the bigger brands have a minimum order. Uh -huh. e either it's cases, or either it's amount of money. Right. And me, as a small business owner, I couldn't afford always to meet the minimum case. Right. These guys here said, what do you need? How much you need? We'll make it happen. And guess what? Convenience is, it, it is all about convenience today and we are doing it. That's right. where we step up and we are the new thing. And you're Hills with, and, but you're helping with proportion sizes too, right? Portion control is something that Larry taught me lately and I loved it. And I would love for him to talk about it because it has become my elevator speech when I go to businesses and people are just like... Wow, okay. So please. Okay, tell us, tell us. Uh, That's all portion, him. Portion control really helps the chefs and anybody, the restaurant owners, uh, reduce their waste. That's always a big problem. And Not every restaurant has a chef. Right, you're absolutely if right. If you're a chef, usually you know how to handle, <coughs> mm -hmm. but a lot of owners, mm -hmm. they need to keep control because right. what happens if the chef gets sick or they are just quit mm -hmm. and you find out that the guy putting in the money mm -hmm. to make a profit right. doesn't have a chef anymore, what happens? Yep. Um, we can trim your steaks, uh, take all the trim and we can use that. Right. We can we can get value out of that where they can't. Right. And. And that helps them keep their bottom line uh -huh. straight uh -huh. and show good good margins. We can cut them any size, uh, individual pack them. Uh -huh. uh, usually we can do orders the same day. Uh, wow. A lot of people will call in an order ahead of time and then we'll have it ready for either next day delivery uh -huh. or pickup. Unbelievable. So a restaurant that you know, for whatever reason, you know, decides that they're gonna have a special event that day. And I've seen this happen. I have friends that own restaurants both in Kansas and Colorado, and uh, one of my girlfriends over there, you know, bless her heart, she's only been gone about three months, and it just keeps snowballing, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I'll never forget one night, she was like, oh my gosh, I just got like a hundred reservations for tomorrow, <laughs> you know, that I happens. bet she would have loved yeah. to have had you guys, because she happens. was in panic mode, mm -hmm. she, I don't know, she is the chef and everything, so if that happens. It happens, we it, get calls it, all the time, somebody will say, we have a, a booking, we need 350, we need 400. And you can do it, we just stop what we're doing, put them first, and we go to cutting. Customer service. And we cut them any size. I call oh it tailored. Gosh. You know when you go to like yeah. a like a fancy store that they yeah. try your suit and they put it on and they measure it. Right. Imagine getting that kind of service, but that suit instead of costing you two, three thousand uh dollars, -huh. it will cost you close to what a regular store will. Yeah, would we'll charge. That is just ridiculous. Yeah. If I can get yeah. this quality for this price, I'm in. I'm in. I know. Who would not be in these days? I'm, I'm just telling on. you, that's what we do. And this is the other cool part that I noticed lately. We can give you the whole piece. Uh -huh. We can chop it to your size and uh -huh. give it to you in a nice box. Right. The other part, if people need to do something with it, freeze it. Uh -huh. 
they can vacuum seal it and they can portion it individually and that way they can mm. freeze their own product and just pull it out in bags and it doesn't mix right so it is extremely tailored it doesn't have to be like that but the mm. options are there yeah. wow. we are so flexible that we're starting to see people That's just cool. fall in love with who we are that is so cool well i know when i walked up like i said earlier when i walked up i mean the whole front of the building had customers out front and you had people mm -hmm. carrying boxes out and you know and then you walk in the front door and we'll get to that in a minute there's a whole you know customer area you know mm -hmm. help and then there's some coolers back over there and there's fresh produce along the wall and i'm like whoa <laughs> yeah. you know am it's i the only cool. one that walks in the door and says that because i did not know you were doing all that yeah most people don't don't know well, retail we haven't haven't really advertised it's yeah. just kind of grown word of mouth over yeah. the years mm -hmm. yeah. primarily restaurants hotels institutions was right. our mainstream yeah and but we will we will cater to just about anybody what are your hours here i'm curious to the public for example about eight to five <coughs> yeah eight to five maybe eight through to friday five. Mm -hmm. okay saturdays we are open about 10 to one or two okay to the public mm -hmm. okay and then that restaurant owner you know the moms and pops that we adore is there a certain time, in, in other words, if they need to make an order, let's say, for dinner, and they just found out, like, at 10 o'clock that morning, they have 100 reservations at night, what call kind of they call it in? Yeah. What number do they need to call? What's the Local number. number. Yeah, 943-8381. Yes. Say it one more time, honey. 943-8381. Okay. Area code 316. And we do get busy sometimes. It does help to have it a day ahead, if possible, but we always try to to get everything done somehow if, if it's in a, a party that just came up if there's something you forgot to order um, you know it, it, there's so many times that there's so many different things that we'll bend over backwards to get it to you not always can we be there in 10 minutes but we're gonna right. figure out a way well, I don't know to take care of yeah. anywhere yeah. in 10 minutes. Yeah. But we can take the order, cut it, and deliver it to you. Mm -hmm. Even That's one amazing. guy can do that right. if he needs to. And, 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 and this young lady here said that the entire family knows how to do yes. every little detail around here. Right. Yeah, we've yeah, we've you've been trained and well versed on all of this. Started at the bottom. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, well yeah. That's kind of mm -hmm. how most family things mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, you know, your young son, daughter, it's like, oh, no, 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 oh, no, no, no. No, 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 get over there and start sweeping. You know, you have to start somewhere. Yep. You know, so 30 years, gosh, congratulations. Thank you. This is just <laughs> awesome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. 30 years. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Happy first year here. Yes. Good to see ya. We're excited about I Jason. Yeah. He, uh, you know, he knows a lot of people and he knows a lot about food. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he's been on a lot of cooking shows mm -hmm. and done very well. And he knows how to walk into a restaurant and show them how to make money, how to use this, new ideas. And it's a, a breath of fresh air for us to have Jason on. Same for me. I'm, ex mm -hmm. I'm excited. I love so, this, actually. I, I yeah. think it's way cool. I just want you guys to know. I can feel the vibe in here, and I'm like, yes, this is awesome, you guys. Thank I you. came from working with family, and I walk into another family-owned <laughs> business. <laughs> right? So I just got done with mom, my brother, and dad mm -hmm. to walk into that again. Right. It's kind of ironic. So. I love it. What a I great family here. I, think it's cool. I just think this is awesome. His family is great. Yeah. I know I've him well. And, yeah. Well, <laughs> some of them. So family <laughs> business <laughs> mixed with family business mm -hmm. makes more awesome stuff. Yes, yeah. everything good. He relates to us well. Yep. Yeah. Well, of course, he's a good family mm -hmm. boy. Mm -hmm. He's a good kid, too. Yeah. Well. Well, okay. <laughs> well, okay, we won't get into some everything. Some say, some say. All right. Ask. Yeah, well, you know, it is what it is, huh? Yes. You know? But I want to say thank you guys for being 30 years here in Wichita. Thank you for grabbing this guy right here. He's I do agree. He's I agree a good guy. You. He's a wonderful person, and his his uh, gosh, his talents are amazing. And I'm gonna use him here. This is my new house, and I'm gonna use him. I love it. Our our customers that get to deal with Jason will see that he's he's inspiring. He's easy to deal with. He's always trying to figure out something to work for him. One of the reasons we got along so well with Jason, he'd order something, one way or another. If he needed it now, or he he would improvise. He's always find a way to make it work mm -hmm. never I would, complain I mm -hmm. I, I, you know a lot of customers sometimes they're it's hard to please everybody mm -hmm. and sometimes people will find a way to have something wrong Jason I, I really honestly don't think we ever ever once had an issue at all the That's time amazing. we've done business mm -hmm. um, I, I've never had any 
Okay. Any problems at all? So it was good always, product. Why would I be crying about it? Yeah, it's great service. stuff. I'm like, this is amazing. Yeah, yeah. very an answer prayer. I have to say, and God, I feel like He has put me here okay. with these people because He was um, just good to us since the beginning. And that's when you know you can trust a company. Mm -hmm. It's when they're helping you before they have a motive. Right. Once you have a motive. Yeah. That's a different story. That's a different story. Sometimes you have to question those motives. But so, yeah. we're here to please people and to give them the best product and service possible. And I think you guys are going to be able to do that. You've already done it for 30 years. That's why I want to say thank you for that. And I just see so many fantastic things coming. This is it's awesome. It's happening. It's happening. It, I know. It's happening. I know. I'm going to go check out your customer service and I need some meats. I'll be <laughs> taking care of you, man. Are you going to help me? I'll All right. Love to. We're going to go get us some goodies. We'll be back. Thank you. That's good.